Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at everything you need to know about gas heat for your hot tub. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so gas heat for hot tub, and by gas I mean either natural gas or propane, it's been around for years, and it's something that certainly isn't going away the popularity is still there, and it's still a really good way of heating your hot tub. So in this video, I'm gonna look at everything from how the heaters work, how you size them correctly, the benefits of gas heat, and pretty much anything else that I can think of. Now, before I get going, always a great opportunity to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on this channel focuses on hot tubs, plunge pools, building your own and all of the parts you're gonna need and, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so gas heat for hot tubs. So how do the gas heaters actually work? Well, firstly, they've obviously got to be connected to a gas supply. More often than not, you also need to have an electric supply too. They need to be plugged in. So some of the ignitions are electric, some of the controllers are electric as well. So you will need an electric hookup as well. So the way that they work is pretty straightforward. So the thermostat calls for heat. The gas valve opens and the ignition ignites. Now the ignition itself could be either a pilot light or it could be electronic, but it's gonna ignite that gas and it's gonna start the burner. The next stage is combustion. So the gas is burning, it's producing heat, and it's actually heating up the heat exchanger or the metal plates inside of that heater. What happens next is heat transfer. So the water is moving through the heater, it's moving over the heat exchanger or the metal plates, and it's then absorbing the heat from those metal plates into the water. Water temperature increases, and that's how the heater actually works. Once the water gets to a desired temperature that you've set on the thermostat, the gas valve closes, the flames stop, and the heater stops heating. Really, really straightforward, but really effective way of heating your hot tub. So what size gas heater do you need for your hot tub? It's a question I get asked quite a lot. So I'll try and explain how we actually size a gas heater. Firstly, we're gonna to need to know the dimensions of our hot tub. So we're gonna do this in feet, and we're gonna end up with a cubic feet number. So in this example, I will use a hot tub that is seven feet long, it's gonna be five feet wide, and it's gonna be three feet deep, and that will give us a cubic footage of 105 cubic feet. So keep that number in mind. The next thing we need to work out is what's the temperature rise that we're looking for? So this is really gonna be how you actually plan to use your hot tub. Do you want to let it go cold and you're gonna heat up from cold? or are you gonna have it at holding temperature and you've got a kind of a time in mind that you want the heat up speed to be. So these are the numbers that you're gonna to need to come up with. Now, a typical hot tub requires around 50 BTUs of heat. Now, BTU is British Thermal Units, and that 50 BTUs of heat will raise your hot tub temperature by around one degree F an hour. So let's look at an example using our seven by five by three hot tub, which is 105 cubic feet. We know that 105 cubic feet is around 785 gallons. Now, if we're looking to raise the temperature of that hot tub, that's 785 gallons by around 30 degrees Fahrenheit in an hour, we need to multiply that 50 BTUs of heat by 795 gallons, and that gives us 39,250 BTUs that would be required in this example to raise that temperature of 30 degrees Fahrenheit in our hot tub in one hour. Now, what you've got to remember is that this is perfect scenario. It doesn't take into account things like heat loss, ambient temperature, that kind of thing. So that number you should always try and increase. Now, my top tip if you're looking for a gas heater for a hot tub is go with the largest one that you can afford. I always think that heat up speed is really important and that's why most people opt for gas. So go for the largest one that you can afford. 
Now, try 400,000 BTUs, for example, that will heat up a hot tub in no time at all. You can do the calculation because I've shown you how to do it on this video now. Definitely consider a larger gas heater if you can. So what's the benefit of gas heat? Well, as we've seen on this example, it can heat up quick. It's by far the quickest method of heating up your hot tub. It's also reliable, reliable in the fact that it will work in pretty much any outdoor temperatures, you know, unlike air source heat pumps, for example, where the output actually drops in cooler temperatures. Gas heaters don't care. They can operate in pretty much any temperature and they're pretty robust. There's not a lot that goes wrong with a gas heater. So it's definitely worth considering this as a, a means of heating your hot tub. So what are the alternatives to gas heat for your hot tub? Well, you've got an electric heater that you can have in your spa pack. Air source that I've already mentioned, it's one of my favorites, but it's not for everybody. It really depends on the climate that you've got. Then my least favorite options tend to be things like wood burners. I just don't think they're very efficient for the DIY hot tubs that we build. Or solar, you can never harness quite enough heat from solar, again, in my opinion. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. Always happy to hear from you. So hopefully this video has given you an insight into gas heaters for your hot tub. If I can help you at all with your DIY hot tubs, then please do get in touch. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.